So the idea, again, is that all the resources that you need are already inside you. You just gotta break through the fear. The fear, that's like the prison bars. It's the emergency break. It's the change you gotta break free from. So those are some things that you can do to break through your fear. And if you can't and you don't want to come out and join us, do something and then come back on the call next week and we're going to talk about it. Okay, I'll bring you on the call and we'll, all, we'll share experiences. So that's the plan. Now what I want to do now, the call is at one hour, but I reserved a little bit more time. I want to bring on a couple of people here. I think Stephanie's willing to maybe come on and talk about an experience that she had with fear. Uh, on one of the courses that we did recently. And I just want you to hear from her. I don't know if Valerie's still with us or Charles is still with us. I know, you know, Valerie had the fear of snakes her whole life, deathly afraid of snakes. We were going to have a is – she, is she with us today? Okay, great. I don't, and I don't know if they're willing to be on. I know you guys have got things to do, but if you're willing to stay on for a little bit of bonus time, I want to ask that you do that now. So, Stephanie, you want to um, go ahead and jump on the call here? Let's wait for her to unmute herself. Hey, everybody, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Cool. Well, thank you, everybody, for getting on the call. Um, I think the coolest experience that I had um, when we were out with the Adventure Club was um, on the free fall, which is the zip lining. And there's a 100 foot free fall. And um, there, there's a part of me that's like, you know what, I'm cocky, I can do anything. When I climbed that 100 foot tower and it was time for me to perform and jump, I couldn't do it. And um, I, I wasn't ready to do it. I didn't realize that I had to fear. And that's really what the cool thing is about doing all these different bioenergetic experiences is that I was unconscious of this fear and my pride was holding me back from really seeing it. So I went up on the tower and I couldn't do it. So I actually walked all the way back down the tower. And then this was in like the second week in December. And then around Christmas time or the week after, I'm like, you know what? I want to, I want to leap into the new year and face my fear. So we called the place and we went back down and did a zipline adventure and had a lot more people show up, which was so awesome. And Scott rehearsed with me. We did the techniques and everything. And I walked up the tower. And, um, you know, one of the things that was different, I mean, with the strategy was typically what I do is I like to go first. And instead, I let everybody else go first. And it was because I was scared. It wasn't because, you know, I was doing them a favor, but it was because I was scared. So this time, um, you know, I changed the strategy. I went right after Scott, and um, eventually, I mean, I, I jumped. I jumped off. I went off a little bit different than um, I originally rehearsed, but the, the cool thing that I learned about that was, you know what, I might not do it exactly as I rehearsed, but the bottom line is I did it. And where I can use that in picking up the phone and calling people or speaking my truth, and it might not come out exactly as I want it to, but it's going to come out, and I'm still going to, like, achieve the outcome that I desired. So it was really awesome. We got a ton of support. So I hope to see you guys um, maybe out. We're doing the free fall this Sunday, so if anybody's interested in coming out to zip line with us, um, you can check out. We have a Facebook event page. So thank you, Scott. Yeah, thank you, Stephanie. And can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, great. I just want to make sure I didn't mute myself out there. So... That was, yeah, that was an amazing experience to watch Stephanie and go through her fear. Now, if you, if you go back out, it's not going to be good. I hope you guys can have it all, right? Uh, no, I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm thinking about it a little bit, like, so I'm going to do it again. Because I did it twice that day, uh, what I'm doing is I'm continually rehearsing it. Like, I'm rehearsing it in my head before I go. So, um, I activated the the first principle and putting it out there, no, I'm definitely going to do it. So. <laughs> All right, cool. And since you've done this, I've been watching you. This has showed up in your confidence and showed up in your life many times. And it's really amazing to watch. So I don't know if Charles is able to unmute and hit star six. Um, if you're there, Charles, let me know at any time. But, Charles, we went down to Panama City Beach. And are you there, buddy? I don't know if he's there with us or not, but uh, it's star six to unmute yourself, Charles, if you're with us. And anyways, he, you know, Charles was in Vietnam. He was a, a door gunner in, in Vietnam and flew around in helicopters, a lot of fearful situations. And, you know, that was, what, 30, 40 years ago. And fear, it creeps back up on you. And he had the fear of heights. And we were doing this thing called the slingshot down there where we were shooting straight up in the air 300 feet in about one and a half seconds 
one, you know, what was that, like six Gs, six gravity, it's like, you know, a rocket ship, and it shoots you straight up in the air, it's like a reverse bungee